What is going on, people? So, here's something that I personally uh, think is <clears throat> going on this generation and why this generation just will never catch speed. We are four years into this generation currently. Four years. And neither console between the Xbox One or the PS4 have had any groundbreaking system um, defining games. Neither one. Yet, PlayStation 5 has already been confirmed by Sony, and Xbox came out with an Xbox One X, and everybody has been sitting back pretty much going, Why would I upgrade to that when you? barely have any exclusives and it's hard to justify owning an xbox and i own an xbox but i justify it because i like the controller i have a ps4 as well i have both of them but i don't play on my ps4 when i first bought it i knew exactly what i was getting into which is i want this system because of the um, cosmetic design I like the sticker that they put on there because Sony, you guys did exactly what the 360 did, which is in the very beginning of that life cycle, they started coming out with multiple uh, stickers on their console, um, like the first three years. For almost every game on the 360, there is a 360 cosmetic design. All the way from Splinter Cell Conviction to Final Fantasy XIII, Gears of War, and so forth. Even Halos and Call of Duties, all of them have their own retrospective um, Xbox 360 cosmetic design. Even the Star Wars um, game that was for Kinect got a cosmetic design. So, PlayStation, you really copied the... 360 here when you came out the gate you started releasing the piano black you have the cocaine white destiny you have the uh batman still gray which is the one that i have and it's got the batman uh shadow on there you have a final fantasy 15 you have a uh um uncharted 4 bundle i'm not sure if that one's special but i know the uncharted nathan drake collection is actually a special one because that one's a weird blue with Nathan Drake himself on it as the sticker uh, you had a halo uh, not a halo but a destiny one bundle you have a destiny two one as well I'm not sure which of those two is the cocaine white version but I know one of them is um, so you really copied the 360 here and while I'm saying all this I'm thinking to myself the 360 and the PS3 had a lot of uh, defining games. I mean, Nathan Drake and the Uncharted franchise came out during the PS3, even though I was never a big PS3 fan, and I only bought the PS3 to play every one of the Uncharted games after I beat the Golden Abyss on the Vita. I can't deny that there hasn't been... Uh, groundbreaking franchises i mean assassin's creed was introduced last generation um bayonetta came out um you have great franchises darksiders uh, dark souls you see what i'm saying these games mean something to people yet where are the groundbreaking games now where are the defining games of this generation and the reason I bring this up is because I think the problem is this generation, more so than any other generation, is completely littered. And I mean that, completely littered, like just trashed with fucking remasters, remakes, definitive edition copies of bullshit games that were released just a few years ago I've said this before and I will continue to say it again and again and again I mean come on everybody made fun of Pokemon Ultra Moon when it came out because Pokemon Moon hadn't even been out that long 
Okay, people made fun of that. People made fun of, you know, say the Splinter Cell 3DS game, but it's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. You see, because we know that. All right, the 3DS is got some re-releases, sure, but they're, you know, Nintendo's own uh, first-party IPs, and they were also released on consoles more than just one generation back. Pardon me, I think that's why people forgive them. I mean, Ocarina of Time was Nintendo 64. That was in the 90s. Okay? Uh, Majora's Mask, again, the 90s. And uh, Star Fox 64. You're talking about games that came out over 10 years ago that got a re-release on a 3DS. You look at the PS4 and the Xbox One, you're getting games that have been re-released from not even 3 to 5 years ago. Exception is Crash Bandicoot, and I'll give them that. However, look at everything else. You have a re-release of fucking Bioshock. You have a re-release of fucking Dishonored. A re-release of God of War 3, which was the God of War of PS3. Including Ascension, which never got a re-release. Thank God, because God of War has been re-released so many times, it's almost up there with Resident Evil 4, which Resident Evil 4 has now been re-released on this generation as well. All the Capcom games from Resident Evil have been re-released. I mean, if you go to the game store, whether you go to Target or you go to Walmart or you go to Best Buy, I almost said Target again, you will find a fuckload of these pointless fillers how can this generation truly take off how can it truly be a great generation if all we have um that are you know just in your face all the time these piss poor ports of games from one generation ago or just last generation not even a generation ago like just last year like you know oh coming out you know at the end of the year is final fantasy 13 remastered um i don't think anybody would care i mean aside from the fact people didn't like that game i just don't think people would generally care you know and i mean you got playstation you got xbox and they're both sitting there fighting one against the other over who's got more teraflop titties, who's performing more with bigger nuts, and they're both slamming their dick on the table, screaming power is everything, and meanwhile you have me just sitting back going, okay, both of y'all motherfuckers ain't got shit to play. Like, your legitimate games are few and far between for both of your consoles. Yes, PlayStation might have more exclusives, but how many of those exclusives were made directly on the PS4 for the PS4? God War Future Past was made on the Vita and ported to the 4. Okay? Made on the Vita, ported to the 4. Okay, a lot of people don't say that, they don't look at that because they're like, oh, I've got my head so far up their ass that I can't see the fucking forest for the tree. And they're so happy to continually buy bullshit at full retail price, which is astonishing to me. I can't figure that part out because companies continue to charge full retail for bullshit that they know they've re-released because they have nothing. Okay, I know they might give you a little bonus, a little, oh, well, you might have bought the game on the PS3, but the PS4 version comes with all that DLC bullshit that, well, frankly, we should just be able to fucking transfer between fucking consoles because maybe you own the game digitally and your PSN account, well, it's technically linked. From the PS3 and the 4 and the Vita and all that shit interchangeably locks like a big fucking orgy. Same thing with the Xbox One. Yet they make it difficult. These 
fucking companies and made this so difficult that we have the most re-releases of any generation. I could give a fuck less if the next generation was to come out tomorrow because I'm almost certain everything that was released this generation from the re-releases and the original content would be re-released again because reasons. Okay? I love the Switch, and I love the fact that they went back to cards, because it's just very convenient for me and very easy to carry. I'm not worried. I want to play one game, and that's usually the game I take with me if I take it anywhere. Like, I'll take Mario Kart 9, uh, I almost said 9, Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe with me, and I have a few games downloaded on there that are specifically games that were like 5 or 6 bucks, like Tumblestone or... You know, Radiant uh, Saga or uh, Ocean Horn. You know, small little games here and there. And if I'm not playing the one that's on the card, I can play one that's downloaded. So, you know, the Switch is fine. And I don't care about the re-releases on the Switch because Nintendo missed out on a lot of great games from last generation. So if they want to re-release a few games and put that shit on the Switch because... Um, it didn't get a lot of love on the Wii U. More power to them. Again, that system is okay. Because, again, Nintendo missed out on a lot of content. And that's as far as the re-releases go with me. As far as what system. Nintendo, you didn't see a lot of love last generation with the Wii U. You can have some re-releases. That's fine. If you want to re-release, like, you know, the Bayonetta 2 game. Okay, that's fine. Because... The Switch is already also the Wii U, and if everybody who fucking buy Bayonetta 2 right now owns a Switch, then Bayonetta 2 will have outsold however many copies it sold on the Wii U and made more money. That's fine, okay? But what bugs me is that a lot of fucking games that were on the PS fucking 3 and the 360 are just seeing a re-release. They're just... Hey, are you excited for the next game to come out from Ubisoft? Well, it's fucking Assassin's Creed, the Enzo Trilogy. Because you played it last generation and we need an excuse to put something out to hold you over from the real game you're waiting for. Or, hey, did you not get enough fucking Resident Evil 4 from the PS2, pardon me, PS2, PS3? Did you not get enough from that? Did you not play it enough on the Wii? Did you not play it enough on the computer? Did you not play it enough when it was out on everything else? Fuck it. Here's Resident Evil 4 on the PS4 and the Xbox One. That shit is fucking annoying. Again, no disrespect to the hardware of the Xbox One or the PS4, but you have to be willing to admit, no matter how much of a diehard fan you are to either console, like I said, I have both of them, the amount, the pure amount of re-releases between the two of them is enough for you to go, do I really want to buy anything? I mean, think about it. Grand Theft Auto V. Let's talk about that game for a second. Grand Theft Auto V. A game that is probably the highest selling console game of the past two generations. Meaning this one and last, that's two generations is only at that number because it's on two generations. Think about that. Had the people over at Rockstar decided Grand Theft Auto V was going to remain on the 360 and the PS3 and not re-released it with a first-person view making it uh, a reason to release on the PS4 and the Xbox One, where would they have gone to the Grand Theft Auto 6? Probably, but they ported it over and we're like, let's keep this going and people still buying our shit because we haven't done anything. Now, not to knock the game, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that's pretty much what's going on is they're now talking about a re-release of Grand Theft Auto 4. They're talking about, you know... re-releasing a lot of games and I'm like okay enough is enough 
that's that's where I'm at. Enough is enough. It's time for this generation to prove why it's a generation in and of itself. Because the more that I see of these re-releases, the more I start to believe the PS4 is a piece of shit. The more I see re-released, I start to believe that the Xbox One is a piece of shit. Because, can you not survive? Do you have no original content making your hardware worth a fuck? I mean, are you really so sufficient on games that were passed that you can't live in the now? Because... I honestly don't know why you wouldn't be able to, but you mean to tell me that's what's going on? You have that little faith in your new IPs? That you have to constantly re-release these games? You have no faith in That's what it tells me is, you know, a re-release of anything, and the amount of re-releases out there now tells me that both Xbox and Sony have no faith in anything coming out. I mean, think about it. Look at how many re-releases are on the market. Between just these two companies, and again, these two companies have seen these games before, and possibly more than once. And you mean to tell me that it's okay for them to consistently re-release titles back to back to back to back to back, and those games outshine and get pushed more than an original IP game. Than an actual game that should be pushed for this generation because again here we are four years in not one defining not one uh generation defining game has come from either system you could say well uncharted 4 is um but uncharted was introduced on the ps3 i'm not going to say it's not a good game i'm not going to say it's a generation defining game i damn sure i ain't gonna say that you know you could say Horizon would be that game, but at the same time, it's like... Mm, I've seen better graphics out of uh, other games, so I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm looking for that defining game, and we haven't seen it. Well, yes, Uncharted is... Or not Uncharted, but Horizon is an original IP that got a lot of uh, hype and a lot of respect from the community from this generation that should have let playstation know maybe it's time to to take their foot off the gas of these re-releases maybe it's time to take a moment and step back you dig and with xbox it's the same thing you know people are waiting on crackdown 3 people are waiting on uh, state of decay 2 people are waiting on sea of thieves and if e any of those three come out and they're really, really, really good, regardless of how the graphics are, and the community accepts these games like they accepted Horizon Zero Dawn, then maybe Xbox, it's time for you to do the same thing. Maybe it's time for you to go, enough re-releases. We want original content. It's time for this generation to stand on its own. Christ, it's four years old. It'll be five by the end of this year. It is time for this generation to stand on its own two fucking feet. And quit leaning on the crutch of yesteryear. There's a lot of great indie titles out there. But they get pushed to the side because they're indie titles. People buy these systems for the big blockbuster games. You know, those big games like Call of Duty, Des excuse me, Destiny, Halos. A God of War, but until we get that defining game, that one that everybody's talking about consistently, and it's not because the game's broken, or it's buggy, or the glitch is breaking the fucking game, or the company's fucking up like fucking Konami, then the, the generation in my eyes is a fucking failure. I mean, like I said, we can point out plenty of games for between the 360 and the PS3, we can point out games like that. We can just go back and forth all day. Because they had so many original IPs, they didn't rely as heavily on such a crutch at something like, you know, re-releases.
They didn't have that crutch. They didn't rely on it. And that was just one generation ago. Can you believe that? One generation ago, the PS3, the fucking Xbox 360, didn't rely on a crutch known as re-releases, remakes, definitive editions. It didn't rely on it as heavily as this generation. Therefore, it had more room to shine. It had more room for original content to come out. Creators were giving a shit left and right. Regardless of if it was good or bad, we just got games and they were good and they were not over fucking thrown by bullshit re-releases. We got Injustice last generation. Injustice was a great game. But Injustice 2 can't really be like ah because it's competing against all these fucking re-releases and people are so for some reason dumbfounded by a re-release and I get it re-releases are necessary because maybe you didn't get to play when it came out but here's the fucking kicker the thing that nobody says is I ought to kick you right in the fucking nuts those games exist for pennies literally pennies on the original console that it came out on. Especially 90% of the shit that's released today on Xbox One and PS4. Oh, the Nathan Drake collection, I can get it for like 40 bucks. That's funny, because if I go buy it on the PS3, the original content in which the system, the game was originally made for, I'll be paying like 15 bucks. Tops. And that comes with instruction manuals, artwork, and a decent looking fucking disc. Per game. I saved half the money. And I got three fucking complete editions. For half the money. PS3's are not hard to come by. Well what if I want to play Halo? Buy an Xbox 360. It's not that fucking hard. Halo was re-released on a 360. Then you have Halo 3 and Halo 4. Again, they're on the 360. And they're pennies compared to buying it on the Xbox One. You can buy the Master Chief Collection. Sure, I'm not going to say you can't. But if you buy them for the system that they were intended for, Halo Five goes or Halo 4 goes for like $3. Seriously, I've seen Halo 4 for like 3 bucks. Think about that. People freak out because they're like, well, well, what about the graphics? Most of these games are not really that much more enhanced because they're only a generation old. What are you really looking for? The 360 and the fucking PS3 both output 1080p. Just go buy the original systems. They're still found pretty much in GameStops. You can find them cheap as hell on eBay or even Craigslist if you want to go that route. Buy the original content. Buy the shit on the original system it was meant for because guess what? Both those systems are still live. Still very easy to do. The multiplayer might not be there for like Uncharted, but the game is the same. That's a first per that's a one player game any fucking way. So you see what I'm saying? I really, really wish they would leave this remake, remasters, definitive bullshit alone. Now, like I said, Crash Bandicoot gets passed because Crash has not been seen or heard from in a good way since the PlayStation 1. However, what I was hoping for was like a Crash Bandicoot 4, meaning they actually made a new one. That would have been impressive they didn't do it so that's just what it is um anyway i figured i'd make this video it's, it's just a topic that i was thinking of because I, like i said i was sitting there i was playing uh the new this game that's new to me because i've been putting off buying the fucking thing and it just made me go this generation whether we're talking xbox or we're talking playstation it can never truly be as great as it should be due to the fact of how much litter is just out there, how much bullshit is out there that has zero fucking zero to do 
with the current generation because the damn content was released last generation. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of filler. If you get down to the actual meat, the actual meat is very small. And yes, I know Destiny Taken King is in this pile, but if we take that out, it gets smaller. You see what I'm saying? If we take that one out, it gets smaller. If we take out the one that was designed to be on the Vita, it gets even smaller. You see what I'm saying? So again, if you remove the bullshit from this generation, you're going to find that game list is going to start grow, you know, it's going to start growing the wrong way instead of the right way because you're like, wow, this is a lot of fucking filler. It's a lot. Even if you like the games, I'm not trying to tell you not to like the games. Even if you like the games, that's fine. I'm just trying to say for what it is. We got a re-release of God of War 3. Why? God of War 3 was the first God of War for the PS3. A sin or Ascension, or whatever the fuck it's called, is the one that should have probably been re-released, because I don't think that many people might have played it. However, again, that was on the PS3. And when they did that, my thought was, why don't you just combine all the fucking God of Wars into one package, and release that on the PS4? You did it with Nathan Drake. So, again, that was my thought for that. But they did it how they wanted to, and they still charged full retail $60 for that game when it came out. Think about that. PlayStation 4 is charging full retail for games you played last generation. So, with that in mind, like I said before, this generation will never be as great as it could be. Due to the fact of all these fucking ports. And I, I'm leaving Nintendo out of this because Nintendo... The Wii U didn't get a whole lot of love. It didn't see a whole lot of games. It saw Assassin's Creed 3 and 4, yes. It saw Zombie U, yes. It saw Need for Speed Most Wanted, which, fuck, had to be the worst version of the game. But because it didn't see a whole lot of love, I'm letting you get a pass. Because you can be playing catch-up to get the games that you never had. But as far as Xbox One and the PS4 go... It's fucking ridiculous. You guys should be on a whole nother fucking ball field when it comes to the games you're putting out. Why the fuck PS4 games all don't look like the Order of 1886? Think about that. Order of 1886 came out back in like 2013, 2014. It was one of the earliest releases. Tell me that's not the best looking game you've ever seen. Yeah, exactly. Here's the fucked up part. I got a copy of it. I bought it for 10 bucks. This is a close second for the best looking game of all time. The Order of 1886 is more realistic looking than this game. This game looks so much better and was released so much earlier. This game came out 2016, I want to say. I want to say 2016. No, 2017, 2017. This game came out 2017, years after this. And this game doesn't look any better than this game. Think about that. Now, it might on the Pro, but I think this is Pro Enhanced game as well. It won't stay on the back because of how early this game was made. But if it's Pro Enhanced, this game kicks its ass. Not from a play standard, from a visual standard. This game came out so much earlier... The graphics on it were so fucking crazy, and I was like, that should be the standard. How crazy those graphics are. Nope, there hasn't been a game come out since then that looks like that. You have environments in Killzone that look amazing, but game handles like shit. It really does. And this video is going on for way too long, but I think you get the point of what I'm saying. Um, this has just been like a full episode of me ranting over these fucking ports and how piss poor this fucking generation is and why it will never live up to the uh, potential that it has. And the fucked up part is it has way more potential than last generation did. Way more potential. 
both consoles have now had a refresh Xbox One X PS4 Pro what was that refresh for? I'm just curious can't be for the fucking games because your uh, fucking library is littered with a whole bunch of re-releases from last generation just curious as to what the fuck you're doing to me it seems like they're more focused on 4k HDR 60 frames a second teraflop titties what exactly does that have to do with the games coming out? Where are the games? Where are the original content games for this generation? Where is the game that everybody's like, this defines this generation's PS4, this generation's Xbox One? Where are those games? Bethesda's re-released Skyrim so much it's on par with fucking Resident Evil 4. Where is the groundbreaking game? I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to think maybe this generation wasn't fucking worth it. Like I said, it's four years old. All we have are power fucking system, power to the systems. And a library of re-releases. And you got a fucking go through with a fine tooth comb to find your original content and you gotta be careful with that original content because the motherfucker might be broken deuces